Attention guys and girls, in your efforts to optimize mental and physical health, do you ever consider the impact of lifestyle, habits, or environmental toxins and what they may do to your endocrine system? Likely not, but if the industry buzzword estrogen dominance means something to you, then maybe you'd like to understand more about it. Well, if that's the case, then stay tuned and listen up because I have some eye-opening estrogen science to share with you. Today, I want to educate you on estrogen metabolism, the concept of estrogen dominance, and how at ATP Lab, scientists like me are working behind the scenes developing supplements like EstroControl that aim to protect you from unhealthy forms of estrogen produced in our bodies and encountered in the environment. In females, the ovaries are the main producers of endogenous estrogens. But estrogens are also generated in the adipose tissue or fat tissue and in the adrenal glands of the kidney. For males, the adrenals and the adipose tissue are the main sources of estrogen. So why is estrogen balance so important? Well, in males and females, the main starting materials for estrogen production are androgens. Through modification via aromatase enzymes, more on this later, androgens are converted to estrogen, which is an essential healthy step for glucose control, cardiovascular health, immunity, bone health, fertility, sexual health, and neural function in males and females. Although healthy levels of endogenous estrogen provide health protection, deviations in the body's estrogen levels above or below normal lead to many human pathologies. That is, both hypo and hyper levels of estrogen have been linked to chronic and acute diseases in humans. So estrogen dominance, why is this happening? Well, like most hormones, estrogen acts through specific receptors, estrogen receptor alpha and estrogen receptor beta. When we discuss estrogen dominance, we're talking about the heightened influence of estrogen relative to that of androgens. So, estrogen dominance relates to increases in the amount of circulating estrogen available to activate estrogen receptors and or an increase in the number of receptors available to interact with estrogen. This is all at the cost of decreased androgenic influences. As you can see, when discussing the good and bad of estrogen, it's much more complicated than simply discussing it as too high or too low. In fact, what ultimately determines estrogen's impact on our health and performance comes down to understanding how we accumulate exogenous estrogens from the environment, how we produce estrogen and metabolize it, and the level of estrogen receptor expression in the target tissues. For the purposes of brevity, I won't outline all the studies, but from a bird's eye view, the data tells us that regardless of sex, if we can control inflammation and aromatase activity, we can balance estrogen and optimize health and performance. So what is aromatase and how is estrogen produced and metabolized? Well, estrogen comes in many varieties. Estradiol is the form of estrogen primarily responsible for female development and to some extent male development. However, when discussing the positive and negative properties of estrogen, we must consider estradiol's metabolites. The first step in estradiol metabolism is exclusively oxidative and involves a subsequent series of hydroxylation steps. P450 CYP enzymes reside in abundance in the liver, but can also be found in high levels in skin and body fat. It's the regulation of these enzymes that ultimately determines the production and fate of estrogen and estrogen-like compounds in the body. It's through these enzymes that our body produces the good estrogen and the bad estrogen. The enzymatic modulation of estrogen through hydroxylation produces estrogen metabolites, which can be harmful or healthy. An example of a healthy estrogen metabolite is 2-hydroesterone which is formed when the enzyme CYP1A1 interacts with estradiol. 2-hydroesterone is considered healthy as it's got low estrogenic activity despite high affinity for estrogen receptors, resulting in decreased estrogenic influences at the target tissue. Examples of harmful estrogen metabolites are 16-hydroxyesterone and 4-hydroxyestradiol. CYP1B1 metabolizes estradiol to form 4-hydroxyestradiol and 16-hydroxyesterone. Both forms of estrogen have been implicated in the initiation of cancer. Research tells us that any internal or environmental factor that increases the activity of CYP1B1, resulting in increased 4-hydroxyestradiol and or 16-hydroxyesterone, may also increase cancer risk. So the big question, can dietary supplements overcome estrogen dominance? Well, we know that many of the foods we eat contain compounds that modify the expression and activity of many of these CYP P450 enzymes. In an attempt to naturally balance estrogens in males and females for optimum health and performance, there's been an enormous effort to isolate and increase the bioavailability of many of these compounds. 
It's through careful consideration of the data from the studies I mentioned that we formulated ATP Labs Estro Control. For the rest of this video, I will highlight the three key ingredients that make our premium Estro Control the best estrogen balance supplement currently available for men and women. Each capsule of ATP Labs Estro Control contains 100 milligrams of patented bioresponse methane, or DIM. Bioresponse DIM is the first and only methane supplement with proven release for enhanced and predictable absorption. Other DIM supplements on the market have no meaningful absorption without microencapsulation, even at three times greater dose. DIM works by optimizing the activity and regulation of CYP enzymes. One of DIM's main effects is to increase the efficacy of CYP1A1, which promotes the metabolism of potent unhealthy estrogens into their healthy and mildly estrogenic metabolite, 2-hydroesterone. Numerous studies have shown that DIM also shifts estradiol metabolic pathways away from unhealthy C16 and C4 hydroxylation by inhibition of CYP3A4 and CYP1B1. Inhibition of both these pathways blunts the formation of two unhealthy and carcinogenic estrogen metabolites, 16-hydroxyesterone and 4-hydroxyesterone. Each capsule of ATP Labs Estro Control has a clinically relevant 60 mg of patented acumen. Acumen is a patented turmeric supplement that has superior bioavailability to other generic forms of turmeric. Clinical research has shown that subjects who took patented acumen, like that used in ATP Labs Estro Control, had five to six times greater concentration of blood curcuminoids, the active ingredient in turmeric, compared to those who received standard forms of turmeric. Although the benefits of supplemental curcuminoids are broad and plenty, for the purposes of this educational video, I'll focus on two primary reasons that we've included acumen in estro control. First, adding acumen enables us to attack estrogen dominance by decreasing the expression of estrogen receptors, an effect that decreases systemic estrogenic influences. As well, curcuminoids are potent down regulators of nuclear factor kappa B or NF kappa B. NF-kappa-B is a pro-inflammatory genetic modifier which has been implicated as the link between estrogen and cancers under systemic inflammation. Stress, high body fat, and environmental toxins all increase our inflammatory load, so keeping NF-kappa-B pathway in check should be a priority for everyone. Finally, each capsule of ATP Labs Estro Control has a clinically relevant 100 mg of patented brocophane. Brocophane is broccoli sprout powder which is standardized for sulforaphane, a potent antioxidant. Clinical studies suggest that sulforaphane's antioxidant potential increases the activity of phase 2 detoxification enzymes, which serve to modify estrogens into healthy forms. Remarkably, some data also show that sulforaphane supports healthy phase 1 enzymatic hydrolysis of estrogens, just like DIM does. But it's the phase 2 detoxification pathway that provides the last chance for estrogens to be removed from the circulation. The phase 2 detoxification pathway provides the last chance for excess estrogen to be removed from the circulation. Before the invention of brocophane, Supplement formulators like myself struggled to find compounds that efficaciously activated this essential pathway. In addition to the direct activation of detoxification enzymes, sulforaphane activates the KEEP1 NRF2 pathway, the body's major regulator of cellular protection in response to oxidative stress. And this promotes an increase in several of the phase 2 detoxification enzymes. At the end of the day, many of these enzymes are intimately involved in the reduction of oxidative species through the regulation of glutathione. Glutathione works to decrease the health burden of excess estrogens by forming conjugates with them, resulting in an increase in the more healthy and weaker forms of estrogen in the circulation. So, how can you protect yourself from excess inflammation and estrogen dominance? Well, that's exactly why we created Estro Control, to attack estrogen dominance in males and females. For females, we suggest taking one capsule with breakfast for the first week, then increase this dose to one capsule with breakfast and one with dinner, two per day. For males, we suggest taking only one capsule per day with breakfast. For best results, we recommend cycling estro control and taking it continuously for two to three months with one month off between cycles. Well, that's it, folks. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. If you haven't already, I hope you consider joining the ATP Lab lifestyle. And if you like what you heard in this video, try estro control to balance your body's estrogen levels. Let us know if you have any questions and what you think of our product in the comment section below. 
Make sure you follow ATP Lab on YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram at ATP underscore labs. And please follow me, Dr. DN Jackson, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr.